Hi, I welcome you to today's insight. It is titled Identity Crisis. Identity Crisis. We're dealing this month with the broader theme, who are you? The Latin word from which we derive identity, the English word means same. In other words, what is inside? It's equivalent or the same as what is outside. So put differently or put simply, identity crisis simply means there is a discord between who we think we are from who we ought to be. Let me put it differently. Identity crisis is a discord between who we think we are from who indeed we are. Before Eric coined the word identity crisis, there has been a record from scripture regarding the crisis of all ages, the identity crisis. The concept of sin, as we experience after creation, was based on identity crisis. Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. Adam and Eve sinned just because of identity crisis. Listen to how the narrative went. The serpent told them, For God do know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. The promissory note that was given Adam and Eve before the sin was that they will be like God. Let me put it differently. God created Adam and Eve in his image and after his likeness. He created them to have dominion. We established that. But when Satan came into the garden, listen to it. Satan says, the day you disobey God and you eat the fruit, you will be like God. Question. Then they saw the need. Indeed, we want to be like God. So man sinned. So sin was identity crisis. Because they were already created in the image and the likeness of God. But Satan said, you are not in the image and the likeness of God. So I need to step up your game so that you will be a certain thing that you already are. We know it is identity crisis. When we see paraded in our countries and nations and communities and society, men and men getting married, women and women getting married, bestiality and transgender, that is identity crisis. The folks do not know really who they are. We see identity crisis when some other species or creatures of God want to just be like some others, some bleaching, just to look like some others. That is identity crisis. It is identity crisis when the Christian church given a mandate to declare a certain message to a dying world is now mimicking something other than its mandate given it. That is identity crisis. We know it is identity crisis when you do not really know who you are. You want to be something else that you are not. That is identity crisis. What you are is in fact you are unsure, you are uncertain about it. That is identity crisis. You see the reason why people steal is because there is an identity crisis. Because if you know who you are, you can't steal. The reason why people lie, the reason why people engage in any immoral vices, anything against the decalogue, is they do not know who they are. We are sinners on account, not just of disobedience, but because of identity crisis. Do you know yourself? Do you know who you are? I charge you today, for the real you to be unleashed to the world, your potentials and earth, your purpose executed, and your capacity on, you need to know who you are. Eschew the crisis in the land, the crisis of identity. Among old, young, educated and uneducated, stand up, stand out, and be counted and bequeathed to the next generation. The identity indeed, God has bequeathed to you to be given to the world. My name is God Sutike Menza. I want to be part of your life as you discover your identity in an identity crisis land. Spend some time and subscribe to my YouTube channel and that of Calm and other social media handles for content. Stay blessed and be faithful.